dealing with characters that are slower or characters that also zone, she has some stuff. But well, now we see him going wow. Okay. I mean, either way, this still might be pretty hard because Cola's Cloud is pretty uh, aggressive and in your face, and he has the movement to really uh, utilize that range and outrange as well. That's one thing that she struggles with. Um, she does have a bit of stubbiness on her normals. Yeah, what I want to say is this is just how Cola is going to play this game. What I want to see is can Cola use that big disjoint from Cloud to take away Bell's recovery? Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely going to come into play here because, uh, you know, Isabel and Villager by Proxy, do they do kind of have issues with sword characters and range. Um, and Cloud, you know, he's not quite as uh, insane as he used to be in the previous game, but Woo! still has some pretty good range there and some great frame But again, what, what Axel needs to pay attention to as he gets blown up is the limit. That stock was done without limit, I believe. Yeah, and now he has to deal with the limit as well. So, again, we talked about the idea of gimmick characters and how, well, I don't like them because they make me play their game. <laughs> I think that they are an integral part of the game because if you can't figure it out, just like in that kind of scenario, then that's what keeps your meta a little bit healthy. But can yeah. Cloud do much about the Isabel back air train? No. But what he can do is keep her locked in this corner. Yeah, I mean, like, when it comes to a lot of those characters, look, the characters that play a little bit non-standard of a game and placing traps and stuff, they're hard, but a good a good way of thinking about how to play against them is to just prevent them from being able to get in those situations. What a call out the with the blade game. beam. That was a great limit blade beam to catch uh, Isabel off stage. And now, uh, Cola's going up a game. And Cola looking really relaxed. I'm looking at him right now. I mean, like, he looks like he's playing hard, but he also, you know, he looks comfortable. I mean, honestly, he looks the most comfortable I've seen anyone up here yet. <laughs> Here's the thing. When Cola is on stage, he's like a man. He's got ice in his face. Axel is not to be laughed at either, though. Yeah. I mean, very calm, very composed, even against a player of Cola's level. Yeah. I mean, this isn't uh, too insane for Axel. I mean, this is always going to be hard, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, Cloud is a character that can die off stage, that can get edge guarded. And this spell does have um, moves that can do that. So. Yeah. Now, what we've seen is Axel's at 98%. What I'm very concerned to see is, look, you're one good straight hit away from Cloud just blowing you off. Yeah, and how's, I mean, how's this bow going to get down right now? Managing to find the opportunity. Um, but yeah, now she needs to get down again, and that's going to be the hard part for her against a character like Cloud. That's why she had to retreat off stage. Yeah, but we need oh. okay. This is where things get a little bit nervous, because look at that limit meter with Cloud. There's the back yeah, air, yeah. yeah. Again. And Axel there. was fighting there at the end. I mean, he was really trying to make something happen, um, but it's hard to get past that Cloud back air. Just super fast move, uh, really good range, and like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, it has a decent shield pushback, so it's really hard to uh, punish. So we're looking at Town and City for Bell Cloud. I think this stage goes both ways, see? Yeah, I mean, when Cloud gets limit, he's going to be moving. Uh, he's going to be, or or how the kids say, schmoving, right? He's going to be right. sliding all over the stage because uh, he gets really fast with that limit, and he can utilize those platforms really well, sharking with some up airs and stuff like that. So um, it can definitely uh, benefit both of them. It does have a little bit more range. Sometimes Isabel's going to want to put some space in between her and Cloud because you know she lacks that range to compete with Cloud, so she needs to utilize space more. Yeah, but what we're seeing is when Bell tries to swing on Cloud's shield, it's just lights out. There's no way that she can contest him. Yeah, definitely. The preservation of limit from Cola has been the distinguishing factor of this game. Very rarely has he had to use it as a recovery. I'm actually surprised Axel was able to punish that limit cross slash. That move notably difficult to punish, but Axel, you ooh! Stuffing that, yeah, stuffing that uh, jump out from Cloud while he's off stage and uh, getting that kill on, on Cole. Just an absolute sniper, Ooh. Axel, as a player. Yo, yeah. Axel going in. Yo, An Axel is answering back. Okay. This man is answering back. Almost about to lap Cole in percent. It's a big accomplishment. Good. Down smash. Oh, oh. oh. Pops oh. the balloons. 
Oh, that's what he did. I was like, what happened? Pops the yeah. Balloons. Yeah, wow. Pop the balloons. That was great uh, use there. And that's something that, you know, you can do to exploit Isabel's recovery, but it can be a little difficult. Unless you're a man of the Polis uh, oh, caliber. Oh, he air dodged, I believe. Maybe he air dodged, but. Oh, air dodged, yeah. So. What we can see is Pola is just unrelentingly pushing this game plan. And see, now this is dangerous. Ooh, that was really great from Axel. That's one of the best things that could have possibly happened as now Axel goes up a stock in this game two versus Cola. Seeing the pocketed blade beam is such a travesty. Yeah. That thing hits like a dump truck. Yeah, it definitely does. You know, uh, moves that are pocketed do get a damage increase as well. And uh, uh, they are even more effective. Do not remind me about that. That kills. Oh, yeah, that up out of shield will do it. And uh, Cola charging up a little bit, um, utilizing, see, that's what we're talking about. Now, these platforms, yeah, like this space you helps uh, Isabel a bit, but now it allows Cloud to kind of get away and charge when he needs to and just reposition Well, right himself. now I feel like this is Axel's game to lose. You know, he doesn't really have any need to approach. It's all about stuffing out Cola's options. Yeah, definitely. It's just going to be somewhat hard sometimes because of that range that Cola has, but Isabel does have, uh, you know, the slingshot move in order to kind of safely do that from a distance. Hopefully, he can make something happen here. Being on stage is a very good place against Bell. Yeah. Wow, and Axel answering back, man. Hey, we got a game. Game three. Yo, Axel saying, hey, dude, look, I get it, Cola. You're good. I get it. Cloud's good. I get it. You got range. I get it. You got limit. But... So, with Battlefield and Yoshi's off the table, you know, I would think Cola would want to take him to a smaller stage like Small Battle. Right? Yeah, there you go. And, that, and, and that's what you're going to see last game. But now we switch it to Roy. Okay. I mean, this is also a good choice. In my opinion, it might actually be the better choice of the two characters that Cola uses at such a high level, just because the stage is so small and uh, Isabel has a hard time dealing with that speed um, that you know Roy has and those combos. Additionally, I think she has a oh, little bit of oh, trouble every, dealing with the... Okay, we almost saw the Wabell for a moment. Yeah, I mean, what, what we're, you have to be afraid of as Bell the disjoints from Roy, but additionally, Roy, you have to be afraid of that slingshot and just the absolute zoning. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, Isabel can definitely get an edge guard on Roy like that. Oh, but uh, managing to jump out of there before it gets too dangerous. Oh, and now how is Isabel going to get back? <laughs> just calmly slides back on her balloons. Isabel's so cute, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. That's adorable. Isabel <laughs> may not be the most threatening, but in the right hands. Oh, yeah. You see that Axel has made her a juggernaut. Yo, he turns her, uh, Isabel, you know, she's really uh, cute and cuddly, but she can turn to a straight pit bull sometimes in but her hands. The stage control from Cola has been a marked difference in this game than previous ones. Z. Oh, that's big. Yeah, and that'll do it. Axel really capitalizing. Wow! And uh, Cola actually managed to get back. Now, that's tragic for Axel. He really needed uh, that to keep the momentum uh, going in his favor, but now he uh, is going to just fight to take as little percent as possible before he takes the stock off Cola. Cola just not uh, allowing that to happen, answering back. Yeah, but what we've seen is just Axel has just been so consistent previously. I wonder if this small stage is giving him some fix. Nope. The fishing rod. <laughs> yeah. I mean, catching uh, Roy, jumping, uh, trying to get back to the ledge like a salmon jumping up a river. Uh, just, you know, making things look simple there. And then starting off a little something, reading that tech roll in. And we mentioned that broom. The broom is so good for that buck. Again. You want to talk about a good move? Roy, Roy F. Tilt. The yeah. thing kills. Yeah, Roy F. Tilt, real nasty. You getting it there? Oh, but then catching Roy with the ball. Now, this is, uh, this is actually not looking too bad for... Oh, well, I was going to say it's not looking too bad for Isabel, but right now, Cola has so much control. I mean, uh, this is still definitely within the, the, the ability uh, to win. Uh, Axel just really has to turn things up right now. And that might have been what he needed. What we're seeing is just Axel trying to control space, move safely as he can, and get rid of Cola's stock before he gets out of hand. Yeah. Oh man, Cola just trying to get this side. 
putting so much pressure on Axel right now. Axel being forced to roll from the ledge. That could have been really dire, but managing to survive. And now uh, Axel just trying to figure out some way to get the stop off Roy, but he can't manage to make it happen. This just fell out of control so bad because it was so even at one point. Yeah, and this is the thing. Cola, as a player, is just so dominant at taking your bad habits and turning them into his strengths. Yeah. Oh, and that's going to be it now. I mean, Axel's going to have to work a miracle here. It's possible, but, I mean, you're going to see him do something like that. Oh, with rage. Oh. Never mind. Get he covered. was fighting, though. He was fighting. I mean, what respectful showing. Set. Yeah, respectful showing from Axel. Um, Still taking Cola to game three, even though uh, those matchups were a little bit lopsided. What a set between the two of them. Man. Yeah, yeah, they were they were fighting, man. They were really out here scrapping, dude. Uh, 